What you're watching right now was created from a single prompt. With the latest WAN 2.6 AI model, you're no longer limited to generating one shot at a time. You can now describe an entire cinematic scene, wide shots, close-ups, smooth transitions, all in one prompt, and the AI model handles the rest. This completely changes how AI video is created, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do this step by step. And I'm also gonna give you a prompt guide completely for free, so that way you can generate these amazing multi-shot videos the proper way. All right, let's get started. All right, so as you guys can see, just based on the left-hand side, this is the one prompt shot and it generates these incredible multi scenes. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna show you a, multi a couple of examples so that way you can go ahead and generate it yourself. Again, I created multiple of these and they're absolutely incredible. And again, once we take a look at a few, you'll see exactly how to do this. All right, so first things first, um, I'm using 11 Labs, so go ahead and click on the link in the description go to 11labs.io, uh, you can create a free account. Once you create a free account, you log in, you can come to the left hand side and click on image and video. Uh, and then in the bottom right here, this is where you have the ability to select multiple uh, AI videos, models, obviously the most popular ones, your VO 3.1s to uh, cling and everything else. But I'm going to select WAN 2.6. This is one of the newer models that hit the market. Uh, this is by Alibaba. They have multiple different um, uh, models now and WAN 2.6 one is the latest one. So I'm just click on this and as you can see right here, this gets selected. Uh, you have the ability to add start frame, audio, video reference, so you can have multiple references here. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use text to video because the goal is again to have this multi-scene prompt and then let the video model generate it itself. So on the bottom, uh, the aspect ratio, I'm just gonna keep it 16 by nine, but obviously you have the ability to choose other aspect ratios as well. I'm actually gonna increase the resolution to 1080p. Obviously the higher the resolution goes, the more it's gonna be costly, so feel free to play around with that. And then also you have the ability to select five seconds, 10 seconds, or 15 seconds. I'm gonna use 15 seconds. And now in order to do the prompting. All right, so uh, the way to prompt this is obviously multi-shot prompt is, is a little bit different compared to normal prompting, but I have uh, prepared this guide. And again, this is completely for free. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Make sure you comment prompt if you want this, but you can head over to my community, uh, go to the, I have a free community, it's completely free head over to the classroom section and then the YouTube resources, all of the prompt guides and everything else is there. And of course, if you want to learn how to make money with AI, I have a paid community as well, where we teach you everything from voice AI to NADN and everything else. So feel free to check that out as well, including we have a AI agency course that you can check out. But anyways, so just basically what I did was I took this prompting guide and I put it in chat GPT and told it to generate this uh, multi-shot uh, serene nature scene um, that basically captures somebody who's looking at a deer from afar to binoculars and the deer is like this really beautiful creature, right? So that's basically what it did. It generated uh, this video prompt based on that prompt guide. It says a cinematic serene nature sequence set in quiet mountain valley at early morning, soft mist, gentle light. So it's describing all of the different, uh, you know, um, environment details and then also a shot. So it's giving it from zero to three seconds. It should be wide establishing shot of the vast mountain at dawn, low fog, and the shot two should be three to six seconds, which is going to be a medium shot from behind, um, you know, the edge of the meadow. And so all of that stuff is basically described here shot by shot. And this is what I was talking about as far as multi-shot prompting, right? So I'm going to go ahead and actually copy this and then head over to my 11 labs here. Same thing. All you have to do is just paste this and then all of that will come over. So make sure you have your selections here proper and you just kind of press enter or this arrow. And what this is going to do is this is going to basically submit this. So now you will see that this is going to take a couple of seconds. Obviously, uh, in order for this to generate, this has to go through the model. So sometimes it takes a good minute or two, uh, but go ahead and let that, let this finish and then we can come back and take a look at it. And then I'm also going to show you how you can actually upscale this video automatically via 11 labs. And then also if you want to add like voiceovers on top of it, that could be very, very easily, uh, done there as well. And that's why, like I said, that's why I'm using uh, 11 labs because you have the ability to kind of edit the video and then add voiceovers on top of it sound effects and everything else and you can stitch multiple scenes together as well all right so i'm just going to go ahead and let this thing finish come back okay so it looks like it got done as you can see right here this is the cinematic that's our prompt and this is the video to generate. so all i have to do is just click on it
All right, very cool. So it generated kind of the sounds as well. So as you can see, it kind of listened to our, the shot one was wide establishing shot of the vast, vast mountain range. Kind of that's what exactly what it was. Low fog drifts through the gra grass. The second shot was uh, behind the solitary figure standing with the edge of the meadow holding the binoculars. That's exactly what that was. The third shot was a close up of the deer, right? And then the fourth shot was kind of like, yeah, there you go, the close up to the binoculars. And then the last one was kind of looking at the deer itself, right? And as you can see, the quality is actually pretty incredible already. Uh, but if you want to actually upscale this, so all you have to do is come in the left hand side and click on upscale video. So what this is going to do on the bottom right here, as you can see, it uploads that video into our canvas here. And then it's automatically selects this up, uh, upscaling model, which is called Topaz Video Upscale, right? So if you uh, click on this, this is uh, the video that um, gives you the ability to increase the resolution up to 4K while preserving all of the details. And actually, I tried this. So if you see in the bottom right here, I already tried this earlier. So this was the the original video that I generated here. So you'll see that the difference between this and that one. So this was the original one. As you can see, the quality on this is not as great. The details like the water, the, the, yep, even like kind of the, uh, I don't know if it's a fox or a squirrel, whatever. It's not a squirrel. It's probably some kind of a fox. But anyway, so now the upscaled version. So that was the normal one. And if I go to the top here, this is what I use. As you can see on the right hand side, it's use Topaz video upscale. So if I click on this, you'll see the quality is much better. There you go. There you go. As you can see, it's a lot more crisp. The lighting, the water and even the quality of the animal. Just like very, you could tell this is 4K, this is very high quality. And like I said, those are the things that you could do, uh, you know, kind of once the video is generated, you can even click on extend video, and then it will additionally have like a start frame and end frame where basically you can you know, describe the next scenes, right? So you can add additional scenes here, you can choose same thing, the, the next video, so you can continue doing this. And of course, if you want to add, you know, um, kind of like a voiceover on top of this the same thing you can um, you know recreate the video on click on edit on studio and this is going to take you to the studio where now you can add voiceovers you can you know remove some of the scenes add additional scenes so there's yeah, lots you can do here but anyway so hopefully you can see, there you go so once you click on that um, edit the video there you go now you can add for instance this uh, 11 labs multi v2 which is the uh, voiceover language you just have to like type here and what this is going to do is going to generate and as you can see in the bottom it's kind of extending meaning that you can uh, put um, kind of like text and it will gener keep generated to speech and you can basically add a voiceover on top of it so lots you could do here but again of course that's totally up to you feel free to check that out and play around with that uh, really cool feature that 11 labs here has uh, that you can create like cinematic scenes and uh, even movies like short films if you want, right? So hopefully you found that helpful. Again, uh, if you want to check out the prompting guide, go to the, um, the free community. And if you want to learn how to start your AI agency, start monetizing AI and become an AI consultant, check out the paid community. Love to see you guys there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.